Hey my amazing people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. Now in this video, I want to take you through the new loop builder that has been released in Elementor 3.8. I'm going to demo for you how you can actually be able to create a layout that would look like this, but actually dynamically referencing to different kind of posts or content types on your website to create a listing archive or something of that sort. Let's get started. So now we're able to create this kind of custom card or a loop that we can later on use to display different kind of listings on our website. It can be in any shape and design. But the beauty is that it's giving us the possibility to create different card designs because Elementor has been limiting us to about three designs. But now with a new loop feature, we are able to build custom designs like this and then dynamically reference these kind of designs to different sets of data on our website. This can be from additional plugins like SCF, and a lot more. So right over here, I have a listing page for used shoes that people can back order. And apparently as of making this video, the loop builder is not WooCommerce ready, but we are able to create custom lists like this over here. We have a featured image, which is actually linking back to the single post type. And over here we have some custom SCF data that is being picked up from the back end. So we have the color, we have the size, and we have the ratings. For some reason, I think just because this is also still in the beta version and testing and all that stuff, some data is not being picked up. But when you look over here on the loop skin that I created earlier, it actually picks up the data. It picks up the color, it picks up the size of the shoe and the ratings and also the name and the pricing. So, but over here on the listing page, actually it's not picking up that data. And basically that's it. The titles and the buttons are all linking back to the single post type for this very uh, listing item. So now the question is, how do you come to build this kind of listing grid? Come back to the Elementor dashboard and come over here to the theme builder and go straight to the loop item and then create a new loop item. Here we're going to start adding our elements or our widgets that are going to that we want to appear on our listing grid. So in this case, I'm going to add one, the featured image. So for example, pull up the featured image. So we have a featured image and then we want the title. So we have the button or icon list over here. And they're only going to be two items, just like you see over right here. And then we have the rating. So this is the star ratings. So we are going to pull up this uh, stars star rating so we also look up for the post excerpt and then we also need the price so the price we can use any widget can be a title it, it, it can be a text editor so I'm going to just drag this over here and I'm going to change the HTML to a div here so the question is how do we link up these items to be dynamic so that we are able to use this as a loop skin by coming over here I'll select this this is going to be for color so I am going to come over here to the text. I'm going to dynamically reference that to an SCF field that I created. And this SCF field is actually having a key of color. I am adding a before text, which is color. Over right here, I can decide to use an icon. I'll look up for the fill icon because that is what I used. And there I go. Then let's also pick up the other dynamic feature. So which is actually supposed to be so the size, so I'll come back here to the list, list item, SEO field, and then I'm going to choose the size option. And before is going to be size. And then I'm going to choose the icon. So I'll select my star rating widget. And then I'm going to come over right here to the rating. And we want it to actually, it's on a scale of zero to five. And I'm going to dynamically reference it to an SEO field. And that SEO field is none other than the rate. Now let's select our heading and come over here to the title. And then we are going to select the post title. And that will now dynamically reference to our post title over right here. And now we need to dynamically reference to our text to actually the price. So I'm going to come over here, SEO field. And I am going to come over here and select the price and under advanced i'm going to add a pre a before icon for the price and there we go i want to make it that when someone clicks on the thumbnail or the title or the button there they're able to go to the single post so in this case what i'm going to do come back here to my thumbnail 
I'm going to come to the link option, custom URL, and come to the dynamic features. And over here, I'm going to select post URL. Same I'll do for the title, come to the link option, dynamic option, and then I'll select post URL. And that's it. So when someone clicks over here, they will be taken to the single post for this shoe. Let's now come here to the excerpt text. We can limit how many characters are displayed in our excerpt text. So in this case, I can say 20. And if you want to show some, someone that this is not the whole excerpt, what you're going to do is come over here to the advanced option. And then after I just added three dots. And here I'm going to say uh, the text is going to be back order and then we dynamically link that button to the post url so now we are done building up our loop next thing is actually to style it up to have it look just like this maybe the other thing i haven't mentioned is that if you are not able to see a preview of what you're trying to build you're going to come down below here to the settings and then you are going to come here to the preview settings and then select the option for post and then also you can choose uh, the type of post so you can choose from one of the posts that you have so over here i can choose like for example in this case i have another post and i can say preview and now you're going to see that the data here is going to change now we have a new set of data referencing to a new post so but before we go into that maybe you have a question like how am i able to add these custom fields to my posts like because the normal posts in wordpress do not allow you to add like a rating the size the color options and the price so how do you do that so i actually managed to use scf which is a free plugin that you can install in wordpress and add custom data to your normal wordpress post type for example these custom fields include the size the color the price the rating and the sex so the sex is actually if this shoe is for a man or for a woman or it's a unisex kind of shoe anyway now that has been a short walkthrough on how i'm able to pull in this custom data onto our elemental loop over right here now the question is how do you happen to build a page that would look like this i'm going to come over here to pages and i'm going to say new page i'll name this as back orders i'll say edit with elementor so that's a new page now once our page opens up what i'm going to do is very simple come over here to the widgets area look up for your loop grid and drag it into your container and now over right here by default like remember at the start of this video i mentioned that there are two ways you can build this you can either start from the page level and then say create a template for your loop or you can simply go to the theme builder so we went to the theme builder path but now in this case it's asking us to create a loop template but we are not going to do that because we have already created one so i'll just come over here select and say look up for our loop so it's going to be loop here that's the name of the loop and how do you know or how do you assign the name to a loop you can just come over here to settings down below here and give your loop a unique name that you want i now have my grid showing up showing part of the items that are from my posts and i can choose to have like one column or we can say two columns or we can say three columns and then we can choose to have six items uh six items per page when i go back here to my posts so you realize that i have seven items so in this case if i only display six items on the page like it says here there is now one more item on the page and now that calls for us having a pagination so when i go under the pagination option i'm able to enable page numbers and all that stuff i can choose to limit the number of pages we can increase the space between the grid and the pagination and of course we can make uh, changes to the color so something like this for example if i say preview the changes we're going to look into if someone goes to the next page what actually happens so when someone says page two so there comes our last item remember we have seven posts and this is our very last item so closing this up when you are done creating your layouts and all that stuff you can simply just say publish okay now that we have updated our page let's go back to the dashboard so I'll come over here to dashboard and we have a new page called back orders. So if I preview this page, so we have our loop now showing up in our listing grid, which is actually an archive from our posts. 
yes i'm actually looking forward to creating a full tutorial once this feature is fully released so i can show you how you can work around with custom data and creating loops and listing grids just like this so in summary the loop feature is not yet fully released it's still in the beta version or beta testing and then you have to go to experiments to enable it create this loop skin and once you're done creating that skin then you are able to use the loop grid on a page or in a section to display your post archives using that loop that you created so in a nutshell thank you so much for watching this video i understand that you could have some questions on this and that please don't hesitate to let me know down in the comments of this video otherwise i look forward to creating a more comprehensive video about how you can create dynamic websites using the new elemental loop feature and building loop skins and how you can add custom data to your default wordpress post types thank you so much for watching this video have a good time and see you in the next one ciao